What foods are absolutely delicious but are a pain in the ass to eat? There's a type of wild asparagus in the south of France that's absolutely delicious to eat. But you can only eat it in small quantities, as too much will give you diarrhea. So quite literally a pain in the ass. I want to get constipated as hell and chow down on these freaky asparagus. There's a type of fish like that, too. It's often sold in in expensive sushi restaurants as tuna, to economize. It tastes fine, but it contains an indigestible oil actually. I think it's a higher molecular weight thing like a wax. In small amounts, it's fine. But if you gorge yourself on it, you'll know about it in a couple of hours. Source, am sushi glutton. Ever had a fresh jackfruit? They taste delicious. Like a cross between a leaflet L pineapple and a banana. But good god the sap. The sap of a jackfruit is a construction grade adhesive. And it is nearly impossible to open and eat without getting it everywhere. You can just barely get it off as by scrubbing with oil and then soap and water. The trick is to run your hands in oil before you open it. Works like a charm. Or wear gloves and rub oil on them. Edit. Rub your hands in oil. Not run but it sounds funny so I'ma leave it. Next time, cover everything that would come in contact with the sap with a little bit of cooking oil. Hands. Counter. Knife. What have you? Jackfruits have been easy peasy since then. The entire thing is edible. Though. Arrows are fruity. Stone is edible once peeled and boiled. And stringy pith is seasonable like meat and edible. I liken the taste to juicy fruit gum. Surprise this was so low. But I guess it's not a very popular fruit. Maybe because of the difficulties you mentioned. Even with oil reducing the sap issues. It's hard to rip apart and the good parts take a while to sort out from all the pulpy stuff. It tastes amazing though. I'm going to eat some right now in fact. Any sour candy with the sugar crystals on them. They're so good until you've had a certain amount and then you just start scraping the roof of your mouth and your tongue raw. Edit, y'all have some good tastes in candy. Ah yes, the pain salt. My favorite part of sour candies. Any sour candy with the sugar crystals on them. That's not sugar. It's citric acid crystals. My mouth is literally watering for sour candy now. Ow, my salivary glands. I used to eat a fuckton of sour candy when I was younger. Probably ate away all of my enamel. My favorite is the sour punch straws. I feel like they have one of the highest sour sugar to candy ratios. I always get a big glass of cold water when consuming them so I can eat a few more before my mouth gets raw. My dad makes a really delicious cherry jam. But he doesn't remove the stones. Because spitting them out is part of the experience. Your dad wanted to meet the deductible on your dental plan. Your dad is chaotic and I can't decide if it's in a good or bad way. My dad makes a delicious minefield in a jar. FTFY. He says that because he doesn't want to do the hard part. My older relatives used to tell me it's because the pit adds flavor. Didn't matter either way to me. I don't like the flavor of cherries. My dad makes a shit cherry jam. The Nature Valley granola bars. Those are an outdoor only snack. You mean Nature Valley granola crumbs. The particle board of the snack world. Crunch it up in the package and dump it down your mouth hole. I used to eat one every day. Here's how you do it. Break the bars into three pieces before opening the package. Open it carefully so you don't spill the crumbs. Pull out the bite-sized pieces. Prickly pear, also known as cactus fruit. These are a pain in the ass at every step. Picking them is a huge risk for getting stabbed by cactus needles. Peeling the skin off is way more challenging than other fruits and then they're full of seeds that cause major GI discomfort if you bite into them by accident. Now when you pick a papa or prickly pear and you prick a raw paw well next time beware. Don't pick the prickly pear by the paw when you pick a pear, try to use the claw, but you don't need to use the claw when you pick a pear of the big papa. Have I given you a clue? Where I live we call them tunas. They're pretty good and the juice you can make from them as well as good. If you eat too much your stomach will act up, I talk from experience.
aka tuna. It's the quenchiest! Exclamation mark. Coconut. Always have hard times breaking the shell and then picking all the delicious coconut meat. Axe swing. I figure there is a reason they always use a machete whenever you buy a fresh one from a roadside. Stand in some tropical country. Because that's the only convenient way to get them open. One time I threw an old, rotten coconut at a fresh one on a tree to knock it down. Then I found a rock on the beach and beat it open like a Neanderthal. My life's been pretty much downhill since then. My ex was born in the Philippines. And on a visit there, we went to visit an uncle who had a coconut plantation. When he heard I'd never tasted buko, he whistled for a young boy, who, shoeless, shimmied up the tree, came down with three nuts. And after a few quick swings of his machete, I was enjoying fresh coconut juice. Fast forward a few years. We're on a Caribbean cruise, and we visit a friend on Cayman. We smuggle back a couple of green coconuts to our room. I spend about six hours with my Swiss army knife trying to get the thing open. Those caramel apple lollipops. The question is, how does one eat these? Edit. Majority of the people who've responded saw Ops comment as caramel apples instead of caramel. Apple pops as it was written. As did I. Awkward lol. I have a fake front tooth. One of those literally pulled out a tooth cemented to the top of my mouth lol. Once upon a time, I swear I didn't hallucinate these. There was a variation on these that were hot chocolate flavored. The pop was chocolate and the sticky taffy covering was marshmallow flavored. They were amazing but had the same hard to eat problems I only had them like one year and then they disappeared. Artichokes. You can't eat a fresh artichoke. But holy shit it takes ages to prep and cook. And then you don't get that much out of a relatively expensive, at least in the UK, vegetable. Prep them while raw to make this easier. First cut the tip off. Then in half right down the middle lengthwise. After steaming them, scoop the hairy part and some of the innermost leaves out with a spoon. Comes right out and is then easy to eat. And an easier portion if it's a huge artichoke. I see a lot of articles recommending taking the hairy part out before steaming but it's way harder. And I don't get why you wouldn't just wait for it to soften. I was gonna say the same. The hearts are such a bitch to get out. Toffee, so f asterisk c k i n good to eat but it's annoying as hell if it gets stuck in between your teeth tears of joy. Get it out with the claw of a hammer. C a p t n crunch. Ugh, the roof of my mouth. So good though. The secret is to get the malt oatmeal bag version of it. Tastes way better and softer than the original shushing face. I like Crave. It's like Cap and Crunch but filled with chocolate. Fresh pineapple. I eat while the acidity eats away at me. Strange. I never had that problem. It's actually an enzyme, bromelain, that partially digests your lips, tongue, and mouth. Pro tip from the Caribbean. Peel the pineapple. Rub salt all around the outside. Be generous with the salt. No biggie. Rinse the salted pineapple with cold water. Cut that bitch up and eat the whole fucking thing at once if you want. I always got an itchy, sore mouth after eating pineapple growing up. But only when I'd eat it anywhere except at home. My dad does it the above way because that's how things are done back home. So that's why when he peeled a pineapple it never bothered me. I introduced my very white girlfriend to it and her mind was blown. My favorite pizza destroys my insides the next morning, if that counts. Edit. I don't have any issues with lactose or gluten, I just really like spicy foods. There's a place near me who makes a pizza with 40 cloves of garlic and about a pound of spicy pepperoni on it. It is probably my favorite food but I am the stinkiest motherfucker alive the next day. Edit. To save replying to everyone individually. It's pizza my heart. They have locations all over the San Jose area. The Big Sur and Little Sur both have it with other toppings. But you can also get 40 cloves and add whatever else you want. I do this and add double pepperoni. It's a rare treat for me. All their pizza is really good. 
even if you don't go for one of their crazier specialties. I'm glad to drive them business because they're awesome. What are the toppings on your favorite pizza? Crawfish. Being from Baton Rouge, I love a good crawfish boil but the time and effort it takes to peel them makes it a pain in the ass for sure. Some people are better at peeling than others and I'm better than average I'd say but it still can cut up your fingers. Also, with the time it takes to peel them versus the low yield, I usually just have to fill up with the corn and potatoes. Otherwise I'll just be hungry still no matter the amount. Still a fun and tasty event. The more crawfish I eat, the hungrier I get. I think I burn more calories peeling them than I get eating them. Eating crawfish is a fun thing to do with a bunch of friends, family. Sit around a table, make a mess, have a few beers, and have some fun conversations. But yeah, it's a pain in the ass to peel them and I'm not very good at it. I'm not from the south so I rarely practice. I also will just go ahead and eat more corn, taters, to fill myself up. God forbid you already have cuts on your hand. Then it downright torture. That being said, my wife and I can murder an entire sack in a sitting. Corn. It's not particularly hard to eat but it's just annoying to eat. It's delicious and I love it with salt, pepper, and butter. But the kernels always get stuck in my teeth and it stays there for far too long and can be difficult to remove. Okay this might sound really weird but maybe it'll help. I'll take a bite of like two to three rows of kernels. Then go to the top row above the cleared space. Put my front teeth on top and bite. Pull down so the kernels come out clean of their little uppods. Then I do that lengthwise, right to left, and then start all over again with the next top row. Some people make fun of me for it but at least I'm not getting it stuck between my teeth anymore. I just realized I eat corn like an old-fashioned typewriter types. Helpful visual reference I guess. Edit. I really thought my one-off comment wouldn't gain this much traction but wow am I glad there are so. Many people who also eat corn this way. Also makes me giggle that my most upvoted comment is about corn. Shout out to my aesthetic corn on the cob eaters. Y'all are not alone. Preach. I'll only eat corn on the cob if I'm home or happen to have floss on me. Unless I unexpectedly run into a lote. With a little mayo, a little lime, and a good amount of chili powder and some katiha cheese. In which case I willingly suffer until I get home. Pomegranates, pain the butt seeds, and the juice really stains. One time I spent God knows how long opening a pomegranate. Finally got all the delicious seeds out. Took a bite. And found out I'm allergic to pomegranate and I did all that for nothing. I did a presentation on how to cut different kinds of fruit in speech class 1 high school. When I got to pomegranate. I struggled and off the cuff said, it's hard as a rock. I guess that's why they call it a poem. Granite. Everyone laughed and kept laughing. I said, it wasn't that funny. Later, my only friend in the class told me that they were laughing at how much my hands were shaking. Holding the knife. I'm still mortified to this day. Decades later. And have not and will not ever go to a class reunion. You gotta use the slice method where you score the outer skin along the lines of the sections. Determined by slicing the top off. Then you can break it into five sections along the lines of the pith and it's way easier. No pomegranates. No 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 no. I click this link thinking, pomegranates, such a pain in the butt.